I've tried to record this a few times already, but my mind keeps jumping and skipping everywhere. So let's just jump to the point. I was stopped at the beach the other day where a news reporter came over to me and said, hey, can I interview you and talk about van dwelling and the effects it has on the city of Vancouver? And of course, it's me, you're gonna put a camera in front of my face. I'm like, let's freaking do it. <sighs> Let me roll you something I seen online. Just watch this. Smart people put the rules in place so that people would come down, and the public could come and use the beaches, and then they would go at 10 o'clock at night if they want to come back at six o'clock in the morning, great. But for most of the time we've lived here and for the entire time I've lived in Vancouver, we've always seen those bylaws enforced and the city has decided not to enforce those bylaws anymore. Um, I think in a lot of cases, the city is trying to graft the homelessness issue onto their failure to uphold the parking bylaws. We've had to deal with some people who have been very aggressive uh, we've had to call the police several times for people yelling at my wife and my son. Um, it doesn't feel very safe at night. Uh, there is a large group of them that assemble on Trimble Street. Last night they were all out smoking drugs on the sidewalk, which even though that's soon going to be legal, it's not really appropriate for our neighborhood. No, I've never been hassled by the police parks board. The police have actually been super, super good. I think it just comes with who you are, how you present your, you know, your home and you're not gonna be a nuisance for a neighbor, you're friendly to the neighbors, you don't leave stuff outside of your vehicle. You know, it's a little different than if you're camped out somewhere. Like if you're camped out some, somewhere in front of this guy's home, he's gonna complain. I don't think it's the city and the parks guys that are the problem, I think it's the guys that are causing a complaint. So the cops won't come and talk to me, otherwise they would have, one just drove by us. They're only gonna come and bother me as if I'm bothering somebody else. That little video was attached to like uh, a little online blurb on their, their internet page. And I thought that's just all it was. The guy was screaming about um, people breaking parking bylaws, parking at the beach after 10 p.m. when the sign says no. So the video I made this morning um, was more about being respectful and obeying parking bylaws. And then I also gave you guys a little bit of an inside scoop in the video you'll never see on some of the things that the reporter told me off camera. So we're gonna dive into this, putting a lot of the little frustration and stuff I had aside. So let's hope this energy, this video just doesn't start to go back there. <laughs> this is possible. Um, anyway, the newspaper article was front page of the newspaper and I seen it this afternoon. I was like, whoa. It said like street fighting and RV squatters and blah, 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 blah. I said, wow, this is bold. Open up the front page, and there it is, the huge spread. <sighs> this one guy had a whole lot to say. So let's bring this article back to my discussion I had with the reporter after the camera was off. Because me being a social guy, I like to ask questions. I'm curious. I want to know what the neighbors said. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. So we started to have a good chat. The chat started out to be about his personal stuff, which was great. He was an awesome guy, by the way. And he was telling me that he was telling some people back at the newsroom that um, he understands why we do this van thing. He totally gets it. He doesn't think it's a problem. Um, because he said once his kids get a little bit older, he's out. He's selling it all, quitting it all, and just moving into an RV, and he's going to travel. So he gets this lifestyle because he wants to do it himself. But anyway, let's get down to the nitty gritty of this. I wanted to know what the neighbors were saying. That reporter told me that most of the neighbors down there don't care. That a lot of the people that he's asked about, it's like, ah, I don't, they don't bother me, we don't care. Well, like a lot of older guys in the big rich houses down there, they're like, ah, whatever, man, they're nice people. We talk to them all the time. They're usually really friendly and have good stories. That's a majority of the people down there. But then, you, he was telling me he's, he's had a couple of them that have some problems with us. And, you know, the, like the reporter said to me, with every right, they've got problems. Because someone's had a problem with people like peeing in the bushes and other stuff in their bushes. And I get that. That's disgusting. And clearly, the guy you've seen in the video, he don't like us very much. And 
I have no problems with the parking part of this, guys. So please don't think that I'm like coming down this guy's throat because, oh no, he's mad because we break parking bylaws. He has every right to be angry with that because none of us should ever break a parking bylaw. We should always obey by every street sign everywhere. Why? Because that's what we should do because our home is on the side of a street somewhere so respect that. You respect parking bylaws, you don't make people angry, you don't make people in the homes angry, just be respectful. Now, this is where things kind of started to, yeah. I find out this guy's got an Instagram account with pictures of all the vans and RVs and anything recreational you could sleep in at that beach. It's called Vancouver, no, it's called Illegal RV Parking Vancouver, or something like that. I'll throw it in the description below. It's an Instagram account. I go on the Instagram account, and I'm looking through all the pictures, and I'm seeing a lot of vehicles that I've seen before, and some other people that I've actually had conversations with. All sorts of things on there, and then he's got these little comments underneath all the pictures about these people are just like sucking the life out of things and ah, the city needs to do things this is like an eyesore and blah 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 <sighs> I understand the ones that are a little bit beat up and broken down a bit of an eyesore with half their life stacked on the roof I understand that complaint because when it looks bad it looks bad for the city as well it looks bad for everything I get those complaints totally understandable but most of those pictures you see in your in that guy's Instagram, they're decent looking vans, they're nice looking vans, people that are taking respect of their homes. And what made me really frustrated, remember <laughs> trying to keep this calm this time, remember, calm, stay calm, Chrome, stay calm, is he has pictures of people that are parked on streets with no parking signs and I know that neighborhood I've been to that neighborhood many 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 times since I've been in the van and there's a lot of streets in his Instagram pictures that have no signs on it at all some of the streets at the very end of each street has a sign that says no parking this way which means anything on that block is available parking which means you're allowed to park there and sleep there overnight if you'd like and some of those streets are pretty good because they're away from the houses. There's even like grassy parks in between where the row of houses start. So he's just kind of being, you can input a word there. Input a good one though. Like a good, like nasty word because I'm trying to keep this calm so I'm not about to say what I called him in the last video. <clears throat> but he's pushing at things. They got pictures of like RVs that are on the, the beach in a public parking lot that are parked within parking lines doing just fine and he's like these guys blah blah they're like just shouldn't be here it's a public beach we have every right to be there a lot of us van dwellers hold jobs in this town we pay our taxes for our work and we deserve to be there we grocery shop here we buy our food here we're active parts of the community you know, you can ask anybody right here on my channel. <laughs> a lot of people have called me an ambassador of Vancouver. I'm a, I'm a high promoter of this city. I love this freaking city. And what made me really angry about his Instagram was he's taking pictures of, have you seen those um, camper RVs, the little ones, you the minivans and stuff with the advertising on the side that says, you know, hey, rent this camper, we're ultimate RVs, everything you, in, ultimate campers, everything you need is right here and a little advertisement on it. He's taking pictures of, the, of those and saying, look, it's just not the squatters that are a problem either. So what, he's calling the tourists that come into our city and spend money and pay money to go to our tourist attractions and the aquarium and wherever else they go? You, you, he's what not welcoming them in his neighborhood they have every right to park there it's public it's a public area and as long as they're not breaking a parking bylaw those tourists are welcome to be there anytime they want buddy sorry man but that was just pushing the limits a little bit too far he even made comments on there about this nice like hundred thousand dollar little short little motor I won't say motor much more like a bus and made a comment about Hollywood North, which is a movie company saying, what, now the movie people get privilege now, they can park here and the city doesn't enforce it? So what do you want? You don't want the movie guys to be living mobile in big fancy vehicles because they're filming in this town? 
You know how much money those film crews bring to this town? And if they're allowed to park somewhere that's not illegal to park in, then who cares? I think this guy is just pushing at something too far. I get being angry at those that are breaking the bylaws and are being a visible nuisance. I get that. But don't throw us all in the same pile. This guy just needs to breathe and calm down and stop like, come on man, when you have an Instagram account and you're actually taking time out of your day to count the number of people, like on his Instagram, he'll have a bunch of pictures. He goes, look, I counted freaking 34 of them this morning. You got anything better to do with your rich time? Like maybe go to your corporate job and earn money and do something instead of worrying about vehicles that are around the block from your house that are in the parking allowed areas? I just don't get this. I don't get it. But it made me angry that he started picking at the tourists and in that newspaper article he said, up to half of the license plates on the RVs and campers he sees on the beach are from the USA. Doesn't that not mean that those guys are in Vancouver on vacation? It's freaking summer, by the way. It's summertime. People are in this town enjoying our area and spending money. And this guy's saying that those Americans are squatting. Come on. Someone needs to just give this guy a little shake. I said I was gonna keep this video calm. Calm, calm, calm. Anyway, guys, um, to end this video, let's end it with something a little bit on the positive side. Let's think about that video reporter. That guy took a lot of great information from a lot of people and took a lot of positive stuff down in the video, including some great positive stuff from me. But when he takes all that good hard work of his day out filming back to the editing room and that footage is off of his hands now, whatever the editors in the newsroom make that video footage or audio footage or whatever they're doing, it's the editors that turn it into whatever they think will get the views. Whatever they think will stir the pot enough. Whatever they think that the city wants to hear, negative, negative, negative. Because I bet you if I got a hold of all of those video files from that guy's footage that day, you guys would have the most amazing, powerful, uplifting thing about how supportive homeowners are and how supportive the communities are and how open-armed everybody is about van life and some great views and interviews with probably some pretty amazing people that live in their vehicles and RVs and or stuff from people that are here on holidays. Man, so um, Vancouver Sun, if you're watching this video, send me that footage and let me show you what amazing things were probably said, not the negative crap that you published. All right, guys, stay positive, stay beautiful, and always, always be weird and obey parking bylaws. Don't park like a dick. Don't give them a reason to pick on us. We're amazing people. And for that guy who was stirring the whole pot in Vancouver, the guy that was in the video, come here, buddy. I had to give you a hug. Listen, pal, next time I see you at the beach, I'm gonna wrap my arms around you and give you the biggest hug of your life and probably kiss you on the cheek and make you super mad to know that us fan dwellers are just nice guys and girls. And our dogs are cute. Alright guys, adios.